Good evening. Uh, I, I just want to piggyback uh, a little bit on what you said, Senator, uh, about foreign policy and some of uh, the President's appointments regarding the military. Uh, I just want to be uh, clear. Um, I'm, a, I'm a reluctant supporter of the President, but I am a conservative, so by virtue of that, I probably disagree with just about 99.9% .9 of you on, well, probably 99.9% .9 of everything. But this is what democracy looks like, where I can yeah. come here and not be accosted by anybody. So I just want to put it out there. You see why I like this stuff. Now, now, one thing I do am concerned about with these appointments, and it was my concern as it is with many of you, is that the military-industrial complex in this country is rolling right ahead, yes. okay? And Trump may or may not do anything about it. I hope he does. He certainly tried to make it sound like he was going to, to a certain degree, all right? And that's on me more than it's on you because I voted for him, okay? And you, that's all right, get the booze out, but let me talk, okay? So, but you want to know something, though? It's no different than the previous administration. Now, Senator, I sent emails to your office and to the offices of Senator Reid as well when the last administration wanted to try and go into Syria and created the phony precedent of Bashir al-Assad using chemical weapons. Just, yes, yes, you can gasp, that's fine. But you want to know something? There were allegedly weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, too. This time, the American people weren't buying it. Secretary, former Secretary of State uh, John Kerry when on national television said that the State Department had evidence of these weapons being used. The evidence was never given to the American people, and I think the American people were smart enough to say, no evidence, we don't go in. Ask your still, I'm going to ask a question, but let me say something first, because you know what? We've got to get past the bipartisan bullshit in this country and realize that you know, this administration is not only that different than the last one. Yes. All right? Protesting when we started a proxy war in Syria, when we started a proxy war with NATO in Libya, when we started fomenting coups and other countries around the world. Now all of a sudden, you're concerned about Muslims? You should have been concerned three or four years ago. I want to know, I want to know, I want to know why, here's my question, why, Senator, now are you concerned about Muslims, but you weren't concerned about Muslims when Barack Obama was a president? Onto a selective and religious based classification. And for the reasons we discussed earlier, that rings an awful lot of really ominous bells for any student of history. And so it's, it's the role, I think, of us to take a heightened interest when it's America that is behaving in this way. And you may feel that the America has not been sensitive enough to concerns of Muslims around the world. But I, okay, I'm not gonna argue with you on that. But the concern here is that suddenly this is being done under our flag. And in my view, the lamp in the hand of Lady Liberty in New York Harbor got a lot dimmer yesterday, and that was not a good thing. Yeah. 